Welcome back all you beautiful thinking people, you to Advocation X. It is time for an Investor Clyde broadcast. I have a particular topic I'd like to tackle today. That is hedge funds. Jim Cramer, who has quite the following, has quite the opinion. Jim Cramer has been giving us a whole lot more information than he intended. Now, I don't have a link for you here today, but I can tell you this. If you look up an old time interview of Jim Cramer, he tells you exactly what the markets are up to and how they are manipulating every outcome in their favor. So I implore you, just do a little research, find the Jim Cramer interview and listen very closely. And here's another thing I'd like to explain to you guys. Have you joined the Motley Fools? If you have, understand that one of the things that I believe they are saying to you is you are one of their motley fools. Now, I don't have any pure evidence to show you on that regard, but I can tell you this, their connection to Citadel, as it is with many other platforms that are telling you what to invest in and what not to, it will never go in your favor against the favor of Citadel and other big concerns that are only interested in taking the money from your pocket and putting it into theirs. So Jim Cramer lets us know that many of the manipulation that goes on in the markets is foolproof. These guys have made themselves so many tools. They have lobbied the governments and got approval for all these tools. And these tools allow them to circumvent you and me every single day. So just think, let me give you this scenario. You log on to the Motley Fool and they're laughing at you, by the way, when you do, especially when you pay a membership, and they tell you, sell Tesla. Oh my God, Tesla's in big trouble. It's losing market share. It's about to go down, sell, sell, sell. And you do, you do know that on the other side, somebody's buying, right? And who would you think would be the ones buying? That's correct. The big industrial investors, the big hedge funds, they're buying at a discount because you're selling cheap. They know where that stock is going. So for them to tell you to sell, they know exactly what they're going to be getting on the other end. They're going up in leaps and bounds. And then guess what? When you find out you've been had, you buy back in. And guess who sells you those shares back? At a massive dividend. Folks, stop being Motley Fools. And again, I have no inside information about Motley Fools, except for the fact that once you've been one, you'll never be one again. Once you realize what they've been doing to you and how they've been taking advantage of the markets and keeping your investments low while they're skyrocket, you will never become a motley fool again. In my opinion, you guys do your research. Stop being had. Don't let these people mess with you. I don't care what they tell you to buy or sell. Do the research on that particular stock and find out. Don't listen to their opinion. Listen to what the fundamentals actually are. What's the progress with the company? How is the CEO looking at their investment in that company and where are they taking it? Are they steering it in the right direction? Or are these just CEOs looking to just scam you and take your money? If they're just kind of scam you, then don't invest. Find high conviction stocks. Put your money into high conviction because the other ones are there to manipulate you and bring you up or down like a yo-yo. Find your high conviction, get in the high conviction, keep your eye on the fundamentals of that high conviction, and if you see an opportunity for a dip, buy more, and more, and more. Don't let these people take those shares from you at a discount. You lose, they win. Honestly, this was the primary message I wanted to give you in this video, is that we've been had. Jim Cramer knows it. Jim Cramer knows it well. His whole interview was so informative, I listened to it twice. What they're doing to us should be criminal, but because they make the rules and the laws, it's totally legal. Short selling, come on, guys, there's all kinds of financial tools they have to keep you down. If you're not gonna to listen to reason and do your research, you will continue to be had. Would you prefer that your portfolios go up by 10% or 2%. Would you be okay with the fact that if you sent your order into me and said you wanted to buy a certain share at $10 a share, I took your order for a thousand shares 
but I waited until I was able to buy the shares for $8 a shares before I transfer them to you and make a $2 premium. Are you okay with that? If you're not okay with that, then you need to do some research. You need to figure out what you're doing and why. And you need to stop letting people like Jim Cramer and CNBS and all these other BS outlets that are there telling you to sell your shares at the wrong time and buy at the wrong time. If I'm a big hedge fund and I want to get rid of some shares that are holding me down, all I have to do is put out a piece that says how wonderful that stock is and how it's going to skyrocket 10, 20, 30 times. And I'll pay YouTubers to tell you to jump on that stock because it's going to go up 10, 20, 30 times. And guess what? I unload my stock on you. People, do your research. Do your research. Make sure you are not one of those who are being had by the motley fools of the game. So, not to point out just motley fool, there are a whole lot of them that are doing the same thing to you every day. So, don't be a motley fool. And that could refer to any of the platforms that are bringing you down the garden path to nowhere. So remember, we never give up. We never give in. But we do keep an open mind because knowledge is the power that drives us forward. And we're not going backwards for anybody. So, do your research. Don't be had. And remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and beyond all, stay as happy as humanly possible.